Hi, I'm Diva from Musical Hell, and I know the score. It's time to discuss some music theater tropes, those conventions of the genre that we all know and love, or at least put up with. And I'd like to start with two song types so universal that, according to some estimations, they're the only song types. I want, I want, I want. C'est moi. Bob Fosse claimed that every song in a musical is either an I want song or an I am song. It's a bit of an exaggeration, and you can argue a lot of exceptions to the rule, but these are definitely the most significant types of song in a show, because they tell you what you need to know about a character, who they are, what their background is, and most importantly, what motivates them. But as is often the case in narrative conventions, it's not always that simple. In the traditional I Am song, a character makes his or her grand entrance, strikes a pose on stage, and waxes lyrical about themselves. This is a form of the trope so old that it goes at least as far back as classical opera. Note how the title character in The Barber of Seville carries on. But despite their name, I Am songs are not always sung by the characters themselves. Sometimes they're sung by a third party. A lot of villain songs fall into this category, like the deliciously wicked Cruella de Vil. She's like a spider waiting for the kill. Roger, Look she'll out hear you. Cruella de Vil. And they're not always direct descriptions of the character either. Stephen Sondheim, naturally, is very good at weaving I Am songs naturally into a narrative. The Worst Pies in London tells us pretty much everything we need to know about Mrs. Lovett, and it also fits perfectly with the way she would talk to the rare customer who wanders into her shop. A particularly clever use of the trope features in Chicago with Billy Flynn's introductory number, All I Care About. It's a song where the character tells you not about himself, but about the pretense he puts on for others. I really like the way the movie version juggles Billy's charming facade with his more mercenary motives. I don't care for any fine attire, Vanderbilt might admire, no, no, not me. All I care about is love. Moving on to I Want songs, this is a trope that I feel doesn't always get a fair shake. See, when most people think of an I Want song, they think of the hero or heroine looking off into the horizon and longing for, well, something else. They're not even sure what it is, but damn it, they want it! This perception runs so deep that it frequently shows up in satire, like Avenue Q's Purpose and Pippin's Corner of the Sky. I've got to be where my spirit can run free. Gotta find my corner of the sky. But in most cases, I want songs express deeper and more specific yearnings. Even Disney musicals, which get accused of this cliché a lot, are more concrete than they're given credit for. Belle sings about wanting adventure in the great wide somewhere, but her true desire revealed at the song's end is for the understanding of a kindred spirit, something she shares with her fellow title character. Ariel wants to experience the human society she's so fascinated with, Quasimodo wants to know what life is like outside of his tower, and Hercules wants to prove himself to his divine father. The songs reflect the individual character's situation and needs. In other cases, the song isn't an I want song so much as it is an I think I want song. The sadder but wiser girl from The Music Man is a good example. Harold Hill describes the woman he believes himself to be interested in, which is completely different from the one he ends up falling for. 
I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No do a young miss who keeps resisting all the time she keeps insisting. Occasionally, I want songs are relevatory, usually when you get around to the dark reprise in the second act. Being Alive from Company is notable in that it's an I want song that comes not at the beginning of the show, but the ending. The point being that it's taken Bobby this long to figure out exactly what it is that he wants. Somebody crowd me with love. Somebody force me to care. Somebody make me come through. I'll always be there, as frightened as you, to hold my serve. So while Fosse may have been exaggerating slightly, there is a grain of truth in what he says. I am and I want are significant signposts for a musical's character development, and they're a lot more complicated and varied than people give them credit for. I'm Diva, I know the score, and now, so do you. Oh,